Hi, and welcome. Uh, I'm Ricky Evans, broker in charge with ERA Strother Real Estate. And today I'm joined by Miss Melissa Medina, who has recently come to uh, join us at ERA Strother Real Estate. So welcome. We are very excited to have you on board with us. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Introduce yourself to, uh, to everybody. Um, first off, thank you so much for having me here. Um, I am Melissa Medina, and I am now official with ERA. I'm so happy to be here. Um, and a little bit about myself, I am a mom first. Yeah. <laughs> I have three little babies. Um, well, I have a 10-year-old. He's not a baby, but he's still my baby. And then I have my 10-month-old and my 20-month-old. Um, and besides you know, being a mom, obviously, I also do real estate full-time as well. Um, so if I can say about me, I can say I am real estate and I'm also a mom and that's how I just categorize myself as. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, and, and I mean, you're even like a one-stop shop for real estate because your husband is a uh, mortgage lender, correct? Correct. Yeah. So he just got his lending license last year and it has been great. Um, not on his side because he hates to be woken up at 12 at you know, midnight saying, hey, babe, can you pre-approve this person really quick? Um, I've gotten better. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so her phone's available at midnight is what I'm hearing, right? His phone's available at midnight as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. And how long have you uh, been a real estate agent? Um, so f I started doing real estate in the beginning of 2019. Um, so... At the end of the year, we'll, we'll mark six years. Okay. Yes. And you've recently started exploring other territories uh, within the scope of real estate in uh, Richmond, Virginia, correct? Yeah. So I actually also just got my real estate license in Richmond, Virginia. Um, I've been doing a lot of back and forth driving to Richmond and then coming back here as well. So yeah. I feel like I live in two different areas, um, but it's 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 nice. And I, I want to say my husband has been very supportive because without him, I don't think it would be possible to be able to get up and go and leave the babies, you know, um, with somebody. He, he's very supportive yeah. with a lot of things that I do. Yeah. And then uh, to, to keep the aspect of y'all being a uh, real estate power couple, he's got his uh, mortgage license uh, for the state of Virginia as well. Yes. So lucky him. He only had to pay a fee. <laughs> Oh, wow. So he was licensed in Virginia before I was licensed. Um, so he, I mean, he's already, he also switched companies out there. Um, he's working with big builders as well um, in Virginia. So he's he's really liking that. Yeah, that yeah. is awesome. So um, I, I guess, you know, if you want to give him a quick little shout out, tell everybody how to get in touch with him. So that way, uh, try to get him a little business. Right. So if you guys are interested, um, talking interest rates with him, he's a big numbers guy. He loves to talk. Um, you guys can DM me. Um, I send you his information. He is with First Heritage Mortgage in Virginia. They're licensed off of Virginia, but they also are licensed here in North Carolina as well. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So ERA is not your first stop in real estate. You've been at a couple firms and you've also owned your own firm for a little bit. So um, what ultimately like led you to deciding to come over to ERA Strother Real Estate? Um, so first, I have been in a lot of different companies um, and I know a lot of people might see it like as maybe like nerve wracking. I always tell myself, though, like if I don't go, I'm not going to grow. Yeah. And every time that I feel like I have made a switch, I have learned so much and I have took so much from um, companies. Um, and yes, I had my own brokerage and I still do. Um, and I am at the point where I want to continue to grow. I have learned how to um, run my company as um, more like a, a smaller company likewise. I've, I've only been in mom and pop's companies. I really haven't been in big companies. Um, so I am excited to learn here at ERA with it, it being such a big company on how you guys do business here because yeah. everybody does it so different. Yeah, and, and so uh, again, forgive me. How long have you had your license? Um, five years. Okay. So in five years, you've made a name for yourself within the community. Yes. You're a, a top producer. Uh, I mean, you can go to any company right now and be a top producer with the numbers that you do. What is your secret to success? What's a, what does your hustle look like? And what would you, what kind of advice would you give to somebody who is trying to, reach production numbers like like you 
you have to be kind to yourself. You have to believe that you deserve what you are working for. Um, in the beginning, when I started real estate, I was in the process of trying to also figure myself out. And when I would close a deal, I think I felt kind of that guilt of like, should I be here? Am I am I doing this right? Mm -hmm. And I had to have a, a real reali reality check with myself and say, I deserve this. I have worked very hard. Um, and that also goes along with being kind to yourself and accepting that this is what you have created for yourself. Um, I also do a lot of self-reflecting, a lot of meditating, mm -hmm. um, and I also check myself. I am, I try to, um, you know, if I if I do something where I probably lack at, I'll tell myself, hey, like, you know, let's get this together. Or last week you did it poorly, but let's see where we can do better. So I'm always checking with myself as well. Yeah. Well, that is awesome. <laughs> That is awesome. Um, well, I thank you so much for jumping on and, and doing this quick video with me. Um, guys, feel free to reach out to Melissa Medina. Uh, do you want to put your phone number on here? Or, or well, what we'll do is we'll put it underneath on the video so that way y'all will be able to contact her. Um, she's absolutely amazing as a person and a real estate agent. We're super excited to have you thank on you. board. I appreciate and, that. Uh, if you would like her to help you buy or sell your home, feel free to give her a call. Again, we'll put the number uh, right below down here somewhere, and uh, y'all reach out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. This is uh, Ricky Evans, broker in charge of ERA Strada Real Estate, and today I am joined by Rosa Guadalupe. Hi. You said that really good. I, tr I tried. I tried. <laughs> I'm sure you could say it a whole lot better no, than I can. No, that's exactly how you say it. I can't roll my R's or yeah. anything. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. So I don't Thanks have the. But <laughs> anyways. You're good. You're good. You did say it really good. A lot of people butcher their last name like immediately. So you did. Really okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, try to say it as good as I say it whenever y'all call her because y'all are going to be calling her because she is absolutely amazing. <laughs> So yeah, welcome to ERA Strother Real Estate. Yes. We are so excited to have you on board. Thank so you. So tell us a little bit about you. How long have you been licensed? Okay, so I've been licensed about two years. Okay. And um, I'm born and raised from Fayetteville. High five, me yes, too. Yes, I went to school here in high school, college, Fayetteville State. Um, yeah. um I speak Spanish as well. So I just because I was born here doesn't mean I can't speak Spanish. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I speak Spanish as well, but... Um, um, let's see, I was born and raised here. Um, I'm just expecting. So we're going to have a little ERA baby. Woo -woo. <laughs> and then um, um, I'm just, uh, I've been in, in real estate about two years, yeah. and I'm still hitting the ground running. So, like, what uh, what brought you to real estate? So you've, you've grown up in the area. You went to Fayetteville State. Mm -hmm. um, you know, real estate's not something that you go to college for. Right. So what... What kind of shifted your focus towards real estate? What made you want to get into this field? So I always worked at like a business setting, like in either I did dentistry for 10 years. Yeah. Um, and then I went to school, was trying to do that during school time as well. And then I just said I wanted to do something completely different. I wanted to step out my comfort zone. I wanted to completely start a new career field for me. And I just want, I said, I want to do real estate. I see other people that I admire and look up to. And I was just like, I love looking at homes. I love helping people. So I just wanted to start something completely over and just like rebrand myself. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So yeah, so you looked at real estate and thought, you know, the, the entrepreneurship aspect of it too yes. correct yes yeah well that's awesome well i'm glad you did and i'm glad you decided to come to era strother and i cannot wait for the little one to come <laughs> yes um i absolutely adore our little ones so <laughs> please bring the baby in whenever you have the baby that'll be awesome all right so rosa so you said you're from the Fayetteville area what side of uh town did you grow up on i'm from the north side of Fayetteville, so okay. pine forest alumni and go. um i've been living on the north side since I was born actually because I went to yeah. Raleigh Road, Long Hill, Pine Forest. Yeah. So you're like the expert when it comes to the north side of Fayetteville. Yes, so, Kings Grant, yeah. all those areas over there. Yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for a nice house on the golf course or, you know, an easy commute to your job at Goodyear or, That's Goodyear. you know, Methodist University, right. 295. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
295 has been such a blessing to the city. So now you, pretty much anybody who's in the military can about from any part of town jump on 295 right. and make it a base pretty quickly. Yeah. So hop on it. Rosa will put you right there by 295 mm-hmm. if that's where you want to be. So that's that's awesome. Yeah. And you, So you're a Bronco, too, Fayetteville State, you said. Yep, Fayetteville okay. State alumni, yes. So what did you go to uh, Fayetteville State for? Business. Okay. So mm-hmm. yeah. See? <laughs> see? So it just – Yeah. So it naturally fell in line that yes. you've got that business mindset. So, so you run, you know, your real estate like a business then. That's correct. Awesome. Mm-hmm. So of course, number one goal being, you know, client satisfaction and stuff like that. So you've, you've had some deals before. Mm-hmm. So, you know, how did that, did, none of them ever go smooth, right? But yeah, there's always a little surprises and everything, but we get through it from beginning to end, and we just try to hang in there as best we can, hold your hand, and yeah, we're just in there from the ground down. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, who who have you uh, helped out before? Was it a military family that you helped? So it wasn't a military family. It was actually a Goodyear employee. Okay. Yes. So okay. <laughs> it was actually a Goodyear employee, and they were a first time home buyer. Um, so we definitely got to help them with. Um, all of their closing costs being covered and um, down payment assistance as well. So they got into a brand new home and enjoyed that very much Look before at that. the holidays. The negotiating <laughs> skills they're getting their uh, closing costs paid yes. for. I love it. I yes. love it. So what do you what are you looking forward to the most about being with ERA now? Um. So just with everything that I hear about ERA, I haven't heard anything bad or anything everything i hear is about power everything i hear is about strength everything i hear is about community Mm -hmm. um very 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 in with the community especially like downtown and everything so i just wanted somebody that's like really involved since i'm from here i want to be more involved with the community as well so i can help everyone and be really like the community expert yeah yeah Mm -hmm. so that's exactly uh what kind of set my antennas off whenever I first came over to ERA. I saw the involvement. I saw everything they were doing. Yes, I love um, it. I, I, I know uh, Denise's son, Joshua, me and him grew up together. and um, So I know he was from here. So I, I really love all that they do, the being at different events, being involved mm-hmm. with the Chamber of Commerce and the downtown uh, Cool Springs District and downtown yeah. Alliance. Um, I'm not going to lie. I do like that we go to a couple baseball games a year. That's always yes. fun. Um, but, yeah, just basically being a part of of the city. Yeah. The city that, that I'm from. Yeah, exactly. that, that we call home. <laughs> exactly. Um, it has been home for you and I both mm-hmm. since day one. So mm-hmm. that's that's awesome. Yes. All right. Well, y'all make sure y'all reach out to Rosa. Uh, she's absolutely amazing she's such a great personality so uh, such a joy to be around all the time every time you're in the office so um make sure she can bring that joy to you whenever you're trying to buy a house or sell your house and uh give her a call we're gonna put her phone number down here at the bottom for y'all to be able to reach out to her and i appreciate you so much for joining me today thank you for having me ricky all right awesome (laughs) 